Hello friends, it is Kira. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be decorating my horizontal happy planner. It is blank, but it's for the week of the 17th through the 23rd, I believe. I'm going to be using the Bold School new happy planner student book. Um, I do have school to do myself, but this, I mean, there's a lot of really good things in here for um, if you aren't a student. So if you'd like to see how I decorate my planner, keep on watching. So if you've watched me decorate my horizontal planner before, you know that I have to cover these things up every time, the little crab and Ariel, because they just don't go with whatever I'm doing. So we're going to hope it's easy to cover them up, and I'm hoping that I can get myself a horizontal planner that is neutral for this coming July. But until then, I, you know, this one is fine and I don't mind covering it up. It just takes a little bit of creativity each time. Um... Without further ado, I literally have not even made any decisions about what I want to use in here. I just know I want to use it. And yeah, so basically what I'm saying is I have no idea what I'm doing. So welcome to chaos. Um, also, I want to apologize for the glare. I will get a new background soon. I just replaced the top of my desk and it's all marker board, which is awesome. But I don't have a background right now. So um, yeah, we'll do that later. So first, I want to cover up this corner, and so I like to use a big sticker if I can find a big one. And there were big ones in here I saw just a second ago when I was flipping through. And this planner is for like uh, everyday to-dos and the schoolwork that I'd like to get done. Okay, those are cute. Okay, so maybe those. Um, yeah, so it's schoolwork and everyday. It's kind of like a catch-all planner for what I'd like to get done in the day. Okay, these are the ones that I saw the first time. I could do a check it off list over here for things I want to get done throughout the whole week. Or I could do one of these pretty ones. I just have to decide what vibe I want. Do I want a clean one? Or do I want dark rainbow? Do I want bright rainbow or leopard pattern? I think I want to do the dark one. Let's just do it. I'm gonna get some wax paper. I have this little one here I've been using for a bit. And see, what am I gonna have to cover up here? I think I'll just need to cover up the little end pieces of the crab. Little Sebastian. So, or his, is his name Sebastian? I think it is. I'm a terrible Disney fan. And I'm not really a huge Disney fan anyways. I like Disney, don't get me wrong. I just don't watch too many of the movies anymore. Anyways, I'm using my Tombow correction tape. Get this little guy covered up. I'm gonna cover up a bit more just because I always seem to never cover up enough in this and then I, I'm sad about it. Okay, got the start going here. I'm just gonna put it down. Let's see. Yeah, I'm just gonna put it down right inside these boxes. Not quite. Not quite. I'm gonna have to do this at a different angle. It's hard to see because there isn't a corner to work with because I just whited it out. That's crooked. Okay, I'm letting it happen. Whatever it is, it's good. All right, there is the start of this week. We got black rainbow, so we're gonna have some darks and yeah let's figure out something up here now i always do the opposite corners in this because i don't like the aerial just distracts me you know what i'll just white her out right now and then i can focus on something else okay but i will end up putting something there um okay I usually like to have some kind of checklist and some kind of box in each day. I use the checklist for my to-dos and the box is for the schoolwork that I'd like to start or the book I'd like to read or something. I like learning and I need to get back on top of my schoolwork. So, um, and I liked these, these little ones that say homework. So I think I'll use some of those on top of a box. I just have to figure out what boxes I want to use. 
I like these ones that say study session homework though. Oh, we're doing those ones. Just gonna go for it. And this planner, I'm so bad at decorating it. I feel like every time I start decorating this planner, I end up taking a bunch of stickers back up because it wasn't quite the way I wanted it to be. Um, are there, and then first let's see if there's any decorative things in here. I think there's just those little quotes that I just passed and maybe like these strips are decorative. Hmm. But that's kind of it. There's more strips at the back. That's nice. Okay, let's do strips first. Let's get this laid down. What do I want to do? I like these dark strips. They go with this. So let's do that. The only problem is these are different sizes than... Because this is built for a vertical boxes planner. Um, how about we just start over here? We just put it at the bottom? Or should I cover up the line? I don't want to cover up the line because I'm not going to be able to cover it up everywhere. So I'm just going to put this large one here. It's always just a little too big. And so if I did a large here, a medium here, on top of here, like a small here, I could do another large up top. And this is just kind of going to help bring some of this element to the rest of the spread, I think. Hopefully. Maybe it'll look weird. I don't think it will. Oops. We can do it. Okay. Let's do some medium ones. And, okay, I'm going to do this from this side. And then I'm going to do a small one here. Or do I want, it's hard to tell what size I want to use. I'm going to do a real small one there. That's crooked. Super crooked. Okay. So I've got a small one next to the big one, so I should probably do a small one up here. Okay, yeah, I'm gonna do another medium one across the opposite direction here. This is looking kind of interesting. I don't know yet. We'll see. And then I think I need to do a small one up here to balance out this little one, or should it be right there? It's gonna be right there. I think it's gonna end up being like bottom heavy because of this thing, so I'm gonna have to, like I said, I always do something over there anyways. Just haven't quite figured out what it's gonna be yet. Awesome. Okay, so I need something at the bottom here. Let's do this medium one. Um, okay, let's do a circle up here. I think one of these black ones. Should we do you are strong? Check it off. Happy plans. Best day. Hello today. Um, let's do happy plans. Okay, I don't like that. Don't quite like it. Mostly just the placement, so if I come in here and I get rid of this Monday thing, I think it'll be fine and I'll go back and actually take away some of that white out. Okay, I got my weird little X-Acto knife here. I'm just gonna try to take it off just this one spot. Oops, took off a little too much. That's okay. Um, okay, I don't like it, but I, I don't hate it. So 
gonna leave it for now and see what the rest of the spread turns into first and then maybe I'll go back to it and I could put like one of these up there or something but I don't really I don't know I don't really want to do that so let's go back to these boxes I've been talking about for like 20 minutes and I haven't done anything with I'd like to do these opposite or I don't know should I just do down homework on this side of everything and then lists Let's just do it like that, and then I don't have to question anything anymore. I'm going to just place these kind of like that, and go down the list. And I'm going to kind of just, I know some of these say project, I don't want that one. I don't, I don't mind what they say, project, homework, assignment, whatever. I just kind of want to find good colors. So maybe I'll just do this. Okay, I'm gonna do what my gut is telling me to do in this moment, which is make them do a bunch of weird stuff. Okay, pink. Let's move down into the purplish color. We'll do it here again. Oh, so crooked. So crooked. Anybody watch Uncle Roger? He's funny. My whole family watches him, and so they all say so weak all the time. And every time I say so anything, I think so weak. Okay. Homework. Got some weird stuff going on here, so let's find another one that has... Let's do this one, it says project, and it's pointing up, and we'll kind of just put it in that same spot that the assignment one says, or is on. Why do I feel weird about this? I don't know, moving on. Um, we got purple, let's do a blue over here, assignment. And it's not that I do school every single day. I don't. But I like to have goals to like sit down and read. And if I don't if I don't do school, these are good spots to put like I want to listen to some of my audiobook or my podcast or or maybe I don't use this box for that. Maybe my assignment is to uh write a blog post or get my planners done. You know, I can use it for whatever I want. Homework. What's my homework? edit this planner video, you know? It doesn't have to be what it says it is. Or it doesn't have to be so black and white, you know? Um, I have a feeling we're gonna have to go back to the top. So, let's do... Is this one... That's too similar. I'm gonna go ahead and do this one here. I know it's facing a different way. Are facing the same way and that probably bothers some people but I'd rather have the colors go the right way than have that little point at the bottom be the same so purple green let's go back up to an orange just to tie it all back to our original starter box crooked I'm really bad at placing things today everything's crooked okay and just for funsies, I'm going to put one down here to make the spread kind of have a, a flow to it. Let's see, we did yellow to orange. Let's do this pinkish one. It says homework. And I think I might just put it right here. No, no, no. I'm going to put it right here. Kind of just stick with the same-ish placement. As I did for the rest of the spread, but okay, I can do this. I can do it. All right, now I want some checklists or else some dots. Let's do checklists if there are any in here. I don't know if there is actually. Okay, so there aren't checklists in here. So what I'm gonna do is collect these that say to do. I'm going to place one 
somewhere over here. Yeah, we're gonna do one little flag. And then I'm going to go to the sheet. Where did it go? I got a sheet that has bullet points. There they are. And use my little set of tweezers here. Oops, I'm throwing stuff. And I'm going to place the bullet points down. Probably just like two, maybe? Or let's do two. It's a lot of space. I could do another two right here, or three. Yeah, this page isn't very decorative, so. I'm gonna stick with just doing the to-do flag and the two bullet points for now, and then I'll see what the spread looks like. So I'll probably fast forward through this so you don't have to sit and watch me struggle with this stuff. Okay, so I got those bullet points in and the little flags. I'm feeling very like, I'm not bored with it. It's just not, it's just not quite, you know, I'm missing something. So I've got a lot of blank space. I really wish I had checklists. What if I did like a box in each one? Would it be too boxy then and weird? Is that too much? I think I'm going to do it just because, like I said, it's not quite looking the way I want it to look. It's still pretty, but I just want to do something kind of different. Add more to it, you know? Plus I have all these matching boxes, why not use them? I don't like the way I placed that one. Ooh. Never worry, I ripped up a little piece of this, but, and it kind of ripped away from the adhesive back of the sticker. But as long as we're gentle with it and put a little glue stick on it, nobody saw anything. Hacks. Okay, next time I place this down, it's not coming back up because I definitely ripped it. I mean, these don't all have to be overlapping. I can put this on here and see where it would look good. I don't know. I don't know. Okay, I'm going to put it back in almost the exact same spot. Okay, I like that a little better than where it was the first time, but it's still... The spread is just going to be boxy and I have to accept the consequences because I don't have any different shaped boxes in here, like different sizes, I mean. They're all the same size. Okay, so many boxes, so little time. I guess I'm just sticking with the theme of them being sideways. Because I don't want to do one weird when all the rest are normal. I would just kind of throw it off, I think. I think what I'll do is I'll take a few of these little stickers, these little circles that kind of match, and just add a little excitement to whatever's going on here. 
see if I can't do something like that. Get it done. It just is kind of nice because it's so boxy. I kind of want it to have just some other elements going on in here. So, and I don't really care what they are. Like that one's a clock. I probably have no reason to have a clock there, but I like the element that it adds to it. Let's do focus on this. And busy day, put over here somewhere. Right there. Mm, this one says important. I'm gonna put it right there and then we'll do a purple one down here. This says more coffee. I'm trying not to drink coffee. I haven't had coffee for a long time actually. I just had like a sip here and there from my boyfriend's cup but I'm trying not to drink coffee too much. But I still like thinking about coffee. I love coffee. Okay, I like this better so far. I am gonna need something up here and something down here. That's what's freaking me out, is the top. Because the middle sections of these look fine. They're awesome, they're colorful. And now that I've got some elements that aren't square in there, I like it a lot better. So I can either do a strip up top or I can do, like I got those little strips or I can do washi up top. I can try to find some washi that I like. Um, what was the other option? I had another one in here. Um, there's quotes in here. These. Um, sometimes I like to just do a quote across the top right here. That way it just gives the top some kind of element. Um, let's do... Let's just see. Whoa, that came off really big. Or two, two of them came off. If I did create, oh, it's crooked, but like, I'm just trying to get the idea of. Well, I can put this one down here. This is do all the things. That seals up that bottom piece. Maybe if we did like a yellow one here and a green one here, blue one there. Let's do that. Embrace the rainbow of the spread. Um, well, I like the one that I just had and the yellow has one that says create your own sunshine. So let's try that real quick. That's cute. So if we did a yellow, let's do like a green. Smiles are contagious. Keep going and growing. I like that. If I can get it to pop up. And would I want it focused right in the center? Yeah. It's hard to do these little stickers in the center of something. cute. Now if I just fixed this bottom piece, because I think after that, I like it. So okay, let's find something for the bottom. Either another quote. We could do a pink quote here and move these boxes up. I can do this. I can do it. Easy. Gentle. Nailed it. So let's try putting this up towards the top. Instead, put this little busy day right back kind of where it was. And then let's find a pink quote. Shine from inside. Smiles are contagious. I like this one that says think, dream, plan. And we'll just kind of do what we did with the other one and just stick it right in the line here. Much better. I just 
For some reason, when it's not like sealed at the top and the bottom, it weirds me out. All right, let's get it in the planner and see what it looks like. There's something about putting these back in there and seeing it with the rings in the back, like the tabs, it just makes it so much better for some reason. This looks awesome. I'm really happy about it. I'm excited to fill it in with black writing for my schoolwork, my events, my to-do list, all that stuff. There's room for everything and I really like that it's bright and colorful. Um, yeah, if you guys liked the video, give it a thumbs up. Let me know what you think in the comments below. And uh, if you want to see my future videos, don't forget to subscribe. And I will see you guys next time. Bye!